who committed immorality, whether it is adultery or fornication or any other form of immorality, if they committed it, or those who have wronged themselves by committing any sin, if they remember Allah and they seek forgiveness for their sins, saying, who is there who's going to forgive me besides Allah? I ask you a question. Don't we all believe the same thing? Who is going to forgive you besides Allah? No one. I have no option but to hope in Allah. I have no other option because Allah is my maker and I'm going to go back to him. What other option do I have? Nothing, zero. So I ask Allah, oh Allah, forgive my sins, have mercy on me and grant me Jannah and give it to every one of us. Ameen. So Allah says, those who remember Allah and seek the forgiveness of Allah because they know that there is none to forgive the sins besides Allah. You know what? If they don't continue in their bad ways and habits and they try their best to be upright, Allah says, Amazing. Those are the ones who will achieve the mercy of Allah. That's what Allah says. And they are the ones who will get paradise, Jannah. Subhanallah. Look at how merciful Allah is. He is saying, if you want Jannah, it does not mean you are a person who never committed a sin. No, you are a person who committed sins, but you sought the forgiveness of Allah. That is when you are in the mercy of Allah. That is when you will get Jannah. Amazing. Thank Allah. We have hope. We have hope. We will not lose the hope in the mercy of Allah. We will have hope. So this is the beauty of Allah. I want you, my brothers and sisters, to remember these words. And I want you to understand. Always turn back to Allah. Always turn back to Allah. Never lose hope. Write your book well. When we get into the Akhirah, we must all be from among those who get our books on the right. Get our books on the right and we keep walking into Jannah. Into Jannah. Into the companionship of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we meet there and we will be in the best place ever. And we will never regret the little suffering that we have on this earth. SubhanAllah. I want to tell you a very good message. Let me spend a few more minutes. Something very, very interesting. If I were to ask you who is the most loved unto Allah, the answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. If I were to ask you who is the highest of creation, the most noble of all prophets of Allah, the answer is Muhammad, peace be upon him. Have you ever thought Allah loves him more than you and I, but he never sat in an aircraft? Allah loved him more than you and I, but he has never had a watch. Allah loved him more than you and I, but he never had a tap which he could turn on and the water would come out from. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have a fan or electricity. Allah loved him more than you and I, he never had a car. Forget about Mercedes, he never even had a Toyota. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have a bicycle. Allah loved him more than you and I, he did not have the type of clothing that we have that goes to show that everything we have is irrelevant in the eyes of Allah. It's got to do with who is closer to Allah, who gets Jannatul Firdaus. Remember that. When you have things, it's not a sign of the happiness of Allah. Sometimes maybe when you don't have it, it's a sign of the happiness of Allah. You follow what I'm saying? But if Allah has blessed you, there's no harm. Let your blessings bring you closer to Allah and make you humble. Some people, when they have the blessings, they turn away from Allah. Some people, when they have blessings, they become arrogant. Remember, my brothers and sisters, two things will take you to paradise. Taqwallahi wa husnul khuluqi. Be conscious of Allah and treat the other people with a lot of respect. I call on you to do those two things. This is the pulpit of Jum'ah. This is a sacred pulpit. It is a pulpit from which people are hoping to listen to a message of mercy, a message of goodness, a message of closeness to Allah, a message that will move us. I hope and I pray today's message has moved myself and every one of us.
We might be struggling in our countries. We might be suffering in a way or two. Those who are better than us have struggled more. And they said, Oh Allah, if you are happy with me, I don't mind the struggles that I'm going through. If you are happy with me, it's okay. Everything else is irrelevant.